Number 5 India's nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine INS Aradaman has cleared all deep-sea and weapons firing trials and is waiting for clearance from the Indian Navy to be officially inducted into the force by end of this year, or early 2018. It will soon join India's underwater fleet and assume operational duties and service to the nation. This is the second vessel of Arihant class and is two times more lethal than the first vessel of this class INS Arihant. In this video, Defense Updates provides viewers with details of the INS Aridaman. Number 4. So, let's get started. India realized the significance of deterrence during the 1971 Indo-Pakistan War. U.S. in support of its ally Pakistan, dispatched Task Force 74 led by USS Enterprise into the Bay of Bengal to intervene in India's fight for Bangladesh. Realizing the immense firepower of the carrier group, India requested the intervention of Russia, which dispatched its nuclear-powered submarines to confront the U.S. Task Force. It was only for the interference of the Soviets the day was saved for India. Learning from this, India in late 1980s, set up the Advanced Technology Vessels Project, with the sole purpose of constructing nuclear-powered underwater vessels, which could carry nuclear-tipped ballistic missiles. The Arihunt class meaning Killer of Enemies is developed under this ATV project. Exact number of planned submarines remains classified, but about six submarines are expected to be built. Let us now understand why INS Aridaman is twice lethal, when compared to its predecessor INS Arihant. Number 3. Even though the same class as INS Arihant, she feature 8 launch tubes instead of the 4, giving her double the firepower of Arihant. So, Aridaman can carry up to 24 K-15 Sigurika missiles, or 8 K-4 missiles. Apart from that, the submarine is also integrated with six 533mm torpedo tubes. Let us now understand K-series missile in details. Number 2. K-15 and K-4 are nuclear-capable submarine-launched ballistic missile underdeveloped by DRDO of India. Difficulties with compacting the Agni-3 to fit the 10 meters diameter hull of INS Arihant, led to the development of K-4. K-4 features range comparable to Agni-3 while being significantly smaller in size. It is named after former President of India Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, and has a range of 3,500 km. K-15 Sigurika complements the larger sibling, and has a range of 750 km. K-series missiles are faster, lighter and stealthier. To make them survivable against anti-missile defense shields, they can be configured to follow 3D zigzag path. The next missile in this series is the K-5, which will have a strike range of nearly 5,000 kilometers. Number 1 Nuclear-powered submarines can stay underwater indefinitely, and are almost undetectable. Equipped with nuclear-tipped missiles, INS Arihant guarantee India a second strike nuclear capability against arch-rivals China and Pakistan. It completes India's nuclear triad, a capability that allows a country to launch a nuclear missile from land, air and sea. India is only among few countries having this capability, which includes United States, Russia, China, and France. INS Aridaman will further enhance India's capability since now two of these vessels will be ready for strike. Having twice the weapon carrying capacity of Arihant, INS Aridaman will provide India with a very robust retaliatory power. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section, this will help us improve.